Hey everyone, it's Presley at ActoGames.com here, and today is Sword of Science Sunday. Since we got our Spangler Science Club kit, and we're going to have Comic-Con this weekend, we are going to do a special Friday version of Science Sunday. So we could have waited until next Sunday to do it, but we looked at the kit and we saw that it was all about one of my favorite science principles, inertia, and it's all about, and it's one of Newton's laws, and that is if an object is still, it's going to stay still until a force acts on it, or if an object is moving, it's going to stay moving until a force acts on it. So these experiments are pretty cool, so let's get started. As always, the kit has a ton of really cool experiments in it. We are only going to show you a couple, and if you want to get the rest, then you can get the Spangler Science Club. So the first thing the kit come with, comes with is this really cool business card that has the definition of inertia on it, this bottle, and this, it comes with some hex notes. So what you do is you put the business card on the bottle, and you put the hex note on the business card. I'm going to turn it a little bit. And then I flick the business card and the hex nut falls into the bottle and this happens because the hex nut want because of inertia it's it's going it has the tendency to remain it, it still until a force acts on it but there is there is a little bit of friction from the card but there's not enough to overcome its mass so it falls straight into the bottle and it's a super cool demonstration and the same thing is happening when people do the experiments where they where they yank the tablecloth out from a bunch of dishes now we're going to step it up a little bit so we're the kit came with this really cool ring so i'm gonna put the ring on so you just gonna balance the ring and then balance the nut on the ring which looks pretty hard it's actually not that hard and then this is pretty much ex this is exactly the same thing except more flashy it's flashier which means cooler because there's this cool ring and there's so much distance in between the hex nut and the cup so i'm just going to yank it out from under and the hex nut should fall right into the bottle so this is the same thing except it's just with this big ring and it looks cooler the kit comes with four hex nuts, so you can stack them in groups of two or three or four and see if you can do it with more hex nuts. So you can do it and it's, actu and it's actually easier because there's more mass on top of the card. So when you flick it out from under there, it's a lot easier than just this one. So this is one of the challenges that it has, and that is to balance a pin on the ring, which is hard enough, with like a flat top or bottom, so it can balance on the ring, and see if you can make the pin drop into the bottle. Which I can. Uh, that was surprising, and I was thinking we'd have to back, um, do that a couple times, but that's actually pretty cool and easy. So the grand finale is one of my all-time favorites, if not my favorite science experiment ever, and it just happens to be about inertia. So what I'm going to do to start this experiment is to carefully feed the beads into this really cool beaker and it comes with this beaker with the measurements on it. So like I said, you're building up your own little science lab. So you could use this beaker later in other experiments um, and, not, and not just for this one. So I'm going to put these beads in here real fast. all in here I'm gonna to move to a different part of the studio to show you why this is all worth it so like I said this is one of my favorites if not my favorite science demonstration ever it's really really awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this edge and throw it down towards the ground it says it's attached to all of the other beads in this bucket it it'll it and it's 
it has downwards inertia, so it'll pull the rest of the beads, and then those beads will pull the rest of the beads down, and there's gravity pulling down those beads, but there's also gravity keeping beads in this cup, so there's this really cool battle of inertia going on with the cup, and also, um, since it has, since I'm making over the cup, it, it has to go up and then go down, down, and that change of direction makes it actually, like, float above the cup, which is just really, really amazing, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> awesome. just worth the price of the kit alone. It's super duper cool and it's like the oobleck. You can't just watch someone do it. You have to do it in person and then you'll just keep doing it over and over again because it's so cool and it sounds so cool and it just feels and it's amazing. So there'll be a link in the doobly-doo to where you can get the kit, get this and do it over and over again like you probably will. So super duper cool. I love it. Thank you so, so much to Steve Spangler for sending us this kit. It's super awesome. So yeah, thank you for watching and I smile.